Uh, nice four movies. Anybody? Yo. Yeah. What is the next Happy Meal toy? Oh, go ahead. Yo. No, I'm done. Oh, okay. The next Happy Meal toy is home video of Oprah sobbing into a lean cuisine. <laughs> Number two. The next Happy Meal toy is chainsaws for hands. Yeah. Yeah. Number three. The next Happy Meal toy is catastrophic urethral trauma. <laughs> so, number one, Oprah sobbing into lean cuisine. Number two, chainsaws for hands. Number three, catastrophic urethral trauma. That hits a little too close to home about Happy Meal toys and what they actually do to you. Oh, wow. That is true. This is a good one. In a pinch, blank one can be a suitable substitute for blank two. In a pinch, blank one can be substituted for blank two. Anything does that because it gets my hopes up. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Are you winning? No. No. Well, probably. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> See? I'm just the well guy. In a pinch, clams can be re a suitable substitute for not reciprocating oral sex. <laughs> In a pinch, the Hamburglar can be a suitable substitute for fear itself. <laughs> Number three, in a pinch, Carnies can be a suitable substitute for the mere concept of Applebee's. <laughs> so, votes for one. Clams replacing reciprocating oral sex. That makes sense. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it all just kind of fell together. Yeah, exactly. Good, I wasted those cards on that impossible one. And I thought Clans was a shitty card. <laughs> this one I'm just gonna put money in in advance. How did I lose my virginity? <laughs> you can't test things on me, remember, you're playing to the audience. No, 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 I'm just seeing if I can get the right answer. <laughs> oh. Oh, are you kidding? That's not how you did? Oh. Oh. Seriously! <laughs> Money! I, did already, I, I put it in advance. Okay. I, 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 I uh, put in a down payment on this one. <laughs> so how did I lose my virginity? Boris, the Soviet love hammer. <laughs> Two, how did I lose my virginity? My machete. Oh. Isn't that a Danny Trejo movie? Hey, how did I how did I lose my virginity? Date rape. No. So who votes for Boris? Votes for Boris. Okay. Votes for my machete. And votes for date rape. Who votes for date rape? I vote for date rape. <laughs> <laughs> it's San Francisco! Is, is gay rape a legitimate rape? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even know what that you know, means. You know, I don't even know. I have no idea. Well, but it's your first time. So I mean, this is a pick two. I, to be fair, he may have been the one that was date raped. Oh. And that's how he that lost his virginity. I no! I'm sure the roofies <laughs> me out. I'll use less next time. You haven't truly lived until you've experienced blank one and blank two at the same time. <laughs> you used up date rape. You can't do it again. Yeah, it's true. It's true. You haven't truly lived until you've experienced one and two at the same time. No. You haven't truly lived until you've experienced licking things to claim them as your own and a tribe of warrior women at the same time. Well, I have books about that. <laughs>
you haven't truly lived until you've experienced cl crippling debt and the hardworking Mexican at the same time. Oh, oh, you haven't truly lived until you've experienced finger painting and hot cheese at the same time. <laughs> Number one, licking things in warrior women. It's gonna be hard to beat that one. Crippling debt and the hardworking Mexican. Mexican. Finger painting and hot cheese. If this were Beverly Hills, those two would have won. Uh. Next card. Lifetime presents Blank. The story of Blank. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Lifetime presents Blank, the story of Blank. <laughs> yeah, keep your money, that's not gonna make you. Lifetime presents Me Time, the story of Take Backsies. <laughs> Lifetime presents a salty surprise, the story of being a busy adult with many important things to do. <laughs> Lifetime presents Golden Showers, the story of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. I'm not even going to put it to a vote. Damn. Yeah, I saw those two out there. Uh, you, you two are a sacrifice. Next card. Billy Mays here for blank. Death. <laughs> that was timely. It's <laughs> <laughs> money for good cause. Billy Mays here for the homosexual lifestyle. <laughs> Billy Mays here for genital piercings. <laughs> Billy Mays here for dying. <laughs> This is a tough vote. I'll give you a second to, to think it over. Alright, here we go. Billy Mays here for the homosexual lifestyle. Fourteen. Billy Mays here for genital piercings. It is San Francisco, come on! Billy Mays here for dying. That actually wins. I have to apologize. I think my genital piercings took away from your homosexual lifestyle. Okay? They actually enhanced it. <laughs> That's probably true. Here is a pick two. I spent my whole life working for blank, only to have it ruined by blank. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you do when you get one that's good and the rest of them suck? <laughs> <laughs> like the least like you, you wait until Justin Timberlake leaves the back. Uh, sorry, leaves in sync. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, I love NSYNC. I love NSYNC all of them. I love my NSYNC. <laughs> <laughs> I spent my whole life working toward powerful thighs, only to have it ruined by when you fart and a little bit comes out. I spent my whole life working toward bitches, only to have it ruined by helplessly giggling at the mention of Hutus and Tootsies. I spent my whole life working toward poopy diapers, only to have it ruined by dental dams. No idea what that means. <laughs> Number one, thighs and pooping, uh, farting so hard. Thighs and sharding. Thighs and sharding. Yeah, yeah sharding. wins already. <laughs> can't, can't, beat a, can't beat a good shard. <laughs> it's really hard to. <laughs> what is Batman's guilty pleasure? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Guilty pleasure. Superman. <laughs> He's not really guilty about that one. <laughs> what is ba Batman's guilty pleasure? Making a pouty face. <laughs> Perhaps his guilty pleasure is the Jews. Oh. Or maybe the Batman's guilty pleasure is the milkman. <laughs> All right. Making a pouty face to the Jewish milkman. <laughs> Number one, making a pouty face. Number two, the Jews. Number three, the milkman. Ken Pontak is making a comeback. <laughs> what will always get you laid? <laughs> Red date. What will always get you laid? Pretending to care. No. <laughs> what will always get you laid? Destroying the evidence. Oh. Or what will always get you laid? Skeletor. Oh, yeah. Number one, pretending to care. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, I should have known that. What is my secret power? That's not such a, so much a power. <laughs> what is my secret power? Boogers. <laughs> my secret power is Dorito breath. <laughs> Or my secret power is wearing underwear inside out to avoid doing laundry. <laughs> Once again. Number one, boogers. Number two, Dorito breath. Number three, wearing my underwear inside out. That is so not a superpower. You people need to learn that's really about just a superheroes. That's, that's a costume. That's not that's even a costume. costume, that's just how you survive college. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, maybe a costume. When all else the fails... The market has spoken. Oh, no, 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 you won, but you were wrong. <laughs> when all else fails, I can always masturbate to blank. Oh. I'm just going to cringe you know, no matter if you, what. If you oh just God. put another O at the end, it's a complete sentence. To blanko? No. <laughs> when all else fails, I can always masturbate too. <laughs> I was about to say, I can always masturbate to Blanco, you hit that catch at the end of the Matt Kane perfect game. Oh man, not the end, seventh inning. God, that was <laughs> I made him laugh there. <laughs> oh, guys. When all else fails, oh, this is gonna be tough. I can always masturbate to Michael Jackson. Oh. <laughs> when all else fails, I can always masturbate to raptor attacks. Oh. And when all else fails, I can always masturbate to the Pope. <laughs> There is no Pope. Yeah. Number one, Michael Jackson. Number two, Raptor Attacks. Number wow, three, the Pope. Must a Raptor Attack. Yeah. Holy crap. Racking him up. Man. You need more cards here. Take no, we got more. Okay. Seriously, mm -hmm. one. If God didn't want us to enjoy blank one, he wouldn't have given us blank two. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Insist on pedophile. Number one, if God didn't want us to enjoy drive heaving, he wouldn't have given us deflowering the princess. <laughs> Number two, if God didn't want us to enjoy an M. Night Shyamalan plot twist, he wouldn't have given us a hot mess. <laughs> Number three, if God didn't want us to enjoy a mating display, he wouldn't have given us crystal meth. Oh. Isn't that an episode of 
episode of Futurama? <laughs> oh, yeah. Number one, dry heaving and deflowering the princess. Number two, M. Night Shyamalan plot twist and uh, a hot mess. Number three, a mating display and crystal meth. Can't beat crystal, crystal meth. meth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Except I was Ruby. so disappointed when she got cut from the voice. Crystal meth. Oh. Blank one would be woefully incomplete without blank two. I'll repeat it. Blank one would be woefully incomplete without blank two. without scrubbing under the folds. Oh. Number two, natural selection would be woefully incomplete without third base. <laughs> Number three, the penny whistle solo from My Heart Will Go On would be woefully incomplete without Sean Connery. <laughs> so, number one, a brain tumor would be incomplete without scrubbing under the folds. Number two, natural selection would be incomplete without third base. <laughs> and number three, the penny whistle solo without Co Sean Connery. Thank you, sir. Natural selection would be woefully incomplete without third base. <laughs> My country tis of the sweet land of fill in the blank. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna sing these, so make sure it's the end. Why are you singing it to the tune of God Save the Queen? Do it. <laughs> My country twist of the sweet land of an erection that lasts longer than four hours <laughs> of the Isaac <laughs> land where my fathers died. <laughs> My country tis of the sweet land of the three fifths compromise <laughs> of the Isaac. Land where my fathers owned other people's fathers and mothers. My country tis of the sweet land of tangled slinkies of the I sing. That one works, bro. No, it, it fits lyrically. Number one. It does. Number one. An erection that lasts longer than four hours. Number two, the three-fifth compromise. That's the actual land that we live in. And number three, tangled slinkies. They're voting for, like, reality. Yeah. <laughs> Which really that was happen. so funny. Let's do this one. Five-minute warning, guys. Five-minute warning. What is the gift that keeps on giving? So the faster you play, remember, the more of these we'll get through. You, yeah, you actually did rate waste an erection the last more than four hours. I, I, did not, I did not. I did not at all. I made it happen. What is the gift that keeps on giving? Passive aggressive post-it notes. <laughs> Just, they keep them popping up at the office. What's the gift that keeps on giving? Dead parents. Oh. What's the gift that keeps on giving? A fetus. Oh, wow. So, number one, passive aggressive post-its. Number two, dead parents. Uh. <laughs> Number three, a fetus. Dead, dead parents, parents take Just it. edge out the fetus. <laughs> because dead parents do keep giving us Batman. <laughs> oh. uh, right, if they're the Waynes. Blank is a slippery slope that leads to blank. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> blank is a slippery slope that leads to blank. <laughs> oh, that's one starting promisingly too. Oh. I already put it in. Ronald Reagan is a slippery slope that leads to the Reverend Dr. Martin King Luther uh, Lu Martin Luther King Jr. Blah! The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Wow. Shaquille O'Neal's acting career is a slippery slope that leads to a plunger to the face. <laughs> and a thermonuclear detonation is a slippery slope that leads to kids with ass cancer. <laughs> Number one. The throwaway one. Let's just put that one away. <laughs> Number two, Shaquille O'Neal's acting career leading to a plunger in the face. And then the Ken Pontac Prize. Ass thermo cancer. Thermonuclear detonation that leads oh, to kids with ass, ca ass cancer. Ass cancer is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Till you have it. <laughs> Second to last card, Jesus is blank. Oh. <laughs> If you play this one real quickly, we can go to with uh, to uh, you know two more cards. Jesus is object permanence. Jesus is a spastic nerd. Jesus is space muffins. Number one, object permanence. Number two, spastic nerd. Three, space muffins. Space muffins. Wait, really? I'm gonna have to revote on that one. Spastic nerd. Chanting but not voting. How does that work? Uh, I'm uh, chanting but I'm lazy about it. And then space muffins. Just tear the card in half. Actually, spastic nerd wins. Yay. We have time for one more. I drink to forget blank. Oh. And then there will be the last, the nice little finale. I can never forget those. <laughs> really, no reaction. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I have to say, if that one doesn't win, I'm going to be disappointed. I drink to forget the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Oh. I drink to forget white people. Oh. I drink to forget coughing into a vagina. <laughs> so, let's just put the Make-A-Wish Foundation away. I drink to forget white people. <laughs> Or, I drink to forget coughing into a vagina. <laughs> Come on, who wants to forget that? <laughs> really? I mean, that's one of those things. Done it, don't want but white people? Come on, we want to forget that, right? Yeah. Sorry guys, coughing into a vagina wins. Oh. And now for the night's grand finale. Draw two cards to make sure you have 12 cards. And then pick three and make a haiku. Oh. Wow. Make, make a haiku. Out of how many cards? Three. Out of 12 cards, choose three of them and make a haiku. It doesn't have to be a real haiku. It does not have to be a real haiku. <laughs> However, usually people give bonus points if it actually does scan 575. My favorite one of all time was, uh, what was it? Grand, the grandfather's ashes, fetal alcohol syndrome, a balanced breakfast. <laughs> that one actually scanned 575. That's pretty good. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> For the sake of comedy, should we let him draw a new hand? It's not right at all. Yeah. You can keep these two. Get rid of that one. All right, all right. For, for the sake of the game. <laughs> I know, I put in the money. They actually use up exactly all of the money for this. And this goes to Chip. Draw new cards to just take a look? All right, there we go. We'll try, we'll see what happens. 
right? A Web of Lies. Historical Revisionism. Death by Steven Seagal. <laughs> A monkey smoking a cigar. Elderly Japanese men. Me. <laughs> Wait a second, that's fucking San Francisco! <laughs> All he did was give a tour of the city! Pooping back and forth forever. Oh. Nubile slave boys. Oh. A bucket of fish heads. Oh. 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 Monkey smoking a cigar. Elderly Japanese men, me. That's almost too deep. It really is pretty deep. A web of lies. Historical revisionism. Death by Steven Seagal. Pooping back and forth forever. Nubile slave boys. A bucket of fish heads. <laughs> Sorry, let me say it again. Moving back and forth. Forever. Nubile slave boys. A bucket of fish heads. See, there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, that was, that was about time. Right, one more. One more. All right, one more. Are we allowed to authorize it? One more. You'll authorize it. Right. Do you guys want this one? Yeah, sure, why not? In M. Night Shyamalan's movie, Bruce Willis discovers that blank one had really been blank two all along. Oh. <laughs> Spoilers, guys, so cover your ears if you actually still care about M. Night Shyamalan's career. <laughs> I see dead careers. They don't know it. But they keep making movies based on Avatar. Oh. <laughs> All right, final card, everyone. In M. Night Shyamalan's new movie, Bruce Willis discovers that the Underground Railroad had really been Michelle Obama's arms the entire time. <laughs> In M. Night Shyamalan's new movie, Bruce Willis discovers that double penetration had really been cuddling all along. I think you should have reversed it. No, you're right. Cuddling was double penetration all along. In M. Night Shyamalan's new movie, Bruce Willis discovers that pre preteens had really been wiping her butt all along. So, the Underground Railroad in Michelle Obama's arms. You, you can beat 18. In M. Night Shyamalan's new movie, Bruce Willis discovers that cuddling had really been double penetration all along. No, 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 hold on. Okay. Actually, try, try, try it this way. Try it this way. Okay. Bruce Willis discovers that double penetration had really been cuddling all along. <laughs> Well, I think it's cuddling and double penetration. I think, I think you're right. Yeah, cuddling is better. Yeah, cuddling, cuddling is better than double penetration. Well, no, it's not. No, no, no. When it's cuddling, it's actually double All right, so cuddling double penetration takes it for the final card. Please count your points. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. We are Bar Mitzvah. Ken Pontak and Neil Kaplan have tied at 13 points. Uh, penalty kicks. Penal We're going to PKs. This is between... This is the lightning round. Wait, I just threw away my cards. Not that far. This is the lightning round, ladies and gentlemen. So, Michael Bay's new three-hour action epic hits blank against blank. <laughs> You know, his next action movie is actually The Rock and Mark Wahlberg as weightlifters who oh, decide they're pain going to... Game. Pain and Gain. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Mark Wahlberg. Exactly. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, G.I. Joe Retaliation, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Fast Six, Dwayne The Rock Johnson... <laughs> All right, you can stop now, Bob. <laughs> Michael Bay's new three-hour action epic pits the Amish against Mecha Hitler. <laughs> Or, Michael Bay's new three-hour action epic pits dead babies against Stephen Hawking talking dirty. <laughs> this is going to be a tough one, guys. Yeah. Think about it. 
All right. So, would you rather see the Amish versus Mecha Hitler with big explosions? Yeah! Or Dead Babies versus Stephen Hawking? No! Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Mecha Hitler wins it, everybody! Yeah! Give a big hand to Ken Contact and his charity of choice. Me! Which hopefully is Neil Kaplan needs a new tire foundation! <laughs> Buy yourself some fuck some candy, candy tits. Um, Doctors Without Borders. Doctors Yay. Without Borders, it is. <laughs> so, Hank, can you take care of this, or uh, the, the Doctors Without Borders donation for this stack, or should I get? So, Scott? where do the doctors Scott? buy their books? Oh, where do they? Oh, oh. Buy their books. Oh. I get it now. I get it now. It's, the same it's a literary joke, so if you don't get it, read! Oh. Alright, everybody. Thank We're you done. all for coming and sitting through this horrible, horrible mess that has proven what terrible people we are. Yes. Give yourselves a hand. You're all awful people. Ah. And this concludes AOD at Night programming. Yay.